Hello, Bigbit Gaming here. We're going to play the game Paranormal Entities by Elhack? I think it's supposed to be Elhack. Elhack. Well, you are Cliff, a college student with brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities, the number two rated ghost investigation show on the Hunting and Outdoors cable network. You have been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the mentally ill. You will go into this facility, follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece, keep your camera on and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera, you will get no further text. Probably you get more. Start the game. Maybe? And goddamn, is the music loud. Alright, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum uh, for the Mentally Ill. The mouse sensitivity is pretty high. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Oh, holy hell. You move like a snail, but... Your mouse sensitivity. Okay. Just use the <laughs> one that my mouse has by itself. Good change. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Interesting. Are you going to talk to me that often? And even though I set my mouse on the lowest sensitivity by itself, it still flies. Oh, hell no. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression ah. hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, flaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. Thank you for the tip. Maybe you could have just not sent me in alone? Oh, how great would it be if I could pick up some of the texts. Take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Please don't. Okay, play that back. this all right all right let's try this ghosts of saint augustine please let us know that you are still in this hospital oh yes assholes permission Mouth. to reveal yourself <coughs> i give you permission to come to life just give us a sign that you're here tell us where you are speak to us now into this microphone <laughs> all right check that into this microphone. Alright, let's try one more spot. Oh, hell no. Ghosts of St. <clears throat> Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. That's how I would do it from the start. Other 
No, hell no. Where am I supposed to go? None of the doors are open. Or can I go from the way I came? Nope. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. <laughs> okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. Why did I take this job? At least if they were partners, but nope. This is the entrance to patient cell 200 through 219. Eh, we're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? this spirits inside this asylum we know that you're here we release you from your restraints come forward and live again this person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead you may be seen interact and manipulate him in any way as you see fit you guys ugly <laughs> flashlight Check what out. God, the instructions of this game. The door is open. Why? I hate this. Did I hear knocking? God, I'm afraid somebody will have a common arm through one of the doors. No. Just take it and smile. Boxes. Still afraid there will come an arm out of one of these. Okay, that wasn't too bad. An arm out of one of these and that will grab me. Uh, hi. Uh, 
I'd rather not. Get out? Okay. I'll do that. Get the hell out of there. Just, just go to the front door and get out. Ooh, screaming. Well, I'm dead. All right, get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. I hope you're not bringing me to my death. And why can I still not run? Oh, damn it, damn it. Oh, okay, there's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So so go up the staircase. I trust you. Okay, nothing down. Well, this is locked. Crap. Oh, okay, we need it. Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs. There was no stair down. There was no stair down. That staircase wasn't there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What what is going on? Well, it All seems right, SCP. I, I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. Do I hear laughing sometimes? Or once? Hey dirt. Uh, no. What the hell are you? Naturally, I have to turn back. Just to see that the room layout changed. Did it? Okay. Hate it. Let's take a look at the other side. That got me good. Oh boy. Okay, the doors don't want to react sometimes. Show me what's next. Another screamer. Wait, that wall wasn't there before. Oh no.
Okay, the blood at least prepared me for it a little bit. Where am I? Okay, some kind of office. Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kinda hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the, there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore oh. that Clive was more than just a mere man. And uh, he would kinda haunt this patient all throughout the day. You know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night he never saw the then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They took their eyesights, too. This pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Well, thank you for... practically killing me. Okay, I can light the room behind. Interesting. Damn flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. Ah, naturally. And where do I go now? This isn't the door. This can't be opened by me. What? Not being able to see is... Not fun. And why can't I run? I want to run! But... I don't know why, but this character can't run! No, 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 no. Just a prank. All right, all right. We're, we're, we're getting a picture from your camera. Bad news is it's pitch black. There, there's no light. Your room, there's nothing I could see. The flashlight went out, and, and we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. <laughs> I'm, hell no. Look. Uh, I'm, if you can't feel anything... Sorry, but we're not coming. I'm sorry, man. I have to go. I'm sorry. Well, what an ass. 
I hope I have a telephone with me. If I do, call the police and then sue his ass. But this was a great game. I had lots of fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, like, comment or subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!